Long-term health care facilities have been some of the hardest hit places during this coronavirus pandemic. So a display of gratitude for the workers and a break from the everyday mundane is just what the doctor ordered. Ten of your sides, Jason Marks, takes us to a parade for skilled nurse caring week. It's been weeks since nursing home residents have been able to get together with their families. Obviously tough. But yesterday, Beth Shalom staff wanted to make sure both families and residents got a day that they won't forget. I think she'll enjoy this. The parking lot of College Park Elementary in Virginia Beach. She was always the one that liked to go over the top. Looks as if the big homecoming parade is only minutes away. We're making it up as we go along. <laughs> Each car decorated with its go. own theme. I think this was a great idea. I was really excited when they said they were going to do it. Yeah, I want to do that. Getting ready, not for the big game. It's still tough to not be able to see them all the time. But for an emotional drive-by. We're excited to see her and just uh, wave and, and uh, blow kisses. Just down the road. Can we pull your mask back up? Beth Shalom Village residents are lined up. What they've done today is really nice. Not quite sure what is waiting for them right around the corner. I'm excited. This is the first time I've been outside in 61 days. Because of the coronavirus, residents have been only able to see their loved ones through a window or on a video call. For Mother's Day, I cried because I couldn't hug my daughter. All that sadness forgotten as the love comes rolling by. Great. <laughs> I haven't seen a parade in a long time. If only for a couple minutes. Here's my daughter. Loved ones lock eyes. Love you all. Love, love you all. You. I love you. Hi, Cassius. It's a ray of light on what has been a dark cloud hanging overhead. This was so fun. I got like teary eyed. It was so great. The hope <laughs> is that this will all end very soon. But what won't is the memory of this day. I loved it. I got to see my daughter. If I could, I would have ran out there and gave her a hug. But we couldn't. It was really, really nice. As you can imagine, staff at Beth Shalom spend every day trying to find activities to keep their residents occupied. They tell me what happened yesterday was the best event they ever had. Jace Marks, 10 on your side.